Hello guys, it's me Paul, back in the studio. The second part of my Waves episode is already edited, it's right there. But as we had a really beautiful, fruitful, yet hot discussion about the first part of this episode, some of you maybe felt attacked or you felt that I attacked Waves. Well, I think I do have the right to have my own opinions, but I need you to know a couple of things and I decided to clarify them before I continue. So the first, very first thing, I totally do respect everybody using waves and I do not discourage you to do this and I mean it. It's not like that I say, yeah, I respect you and then all those waves, dumps, you know. No, guys, it's not like that. Do as you wish and achieve beautiful, great results with the tools of your choice. If it's waves, I'm all fine with it. I just know that my opinion is different and there are many people like me who feel like changing waves to something else and I'm trying to help them out with making good choices. I also printed a couple of pinpoints from our web discussion so I can answer a couple of questions and doubts really quickly. The first one was, I never had a problem with waves. Well, actually I did have a serious problem with waves at least once. I remember when Wave Central was introduced, I think it was around version 9 of the plugins or together with version 9 and all of a sudden everything by waves stopped working and back then i was really heavily relying on waves plugins so all of my projects were simply blocked for the whole day because the old installers like everything that was before wave central was removed and waves central did not work what i did was that i took pirate installers to make my waves work again and i wrote about it to the wave support, they never answered with anything, but it was the first step for me to stop using waves actually. The second thing, you're not forced to update. Of course that I'm not forced to update, but I'm eligible and allowed, and I'm somehow proposed, hey, would you like to update and pay us for that? Sure thing, but what am I actually buying from you guys? There are no version histories per plugin with Waves. You just get a general description of version 9, 10, 11, 12 on the website, like summing things up, but no version history for a single plugin that's easy accessible. So I can see what's, what I'm missing, what can I actually upgrade with the certain plugin. Also, Wave Central never notifies me that something is out of date and there's a new version of a plugin available. So while I'm not forced to update, but I don't really feel like updating because I don't know what's there, what's that, that I'm gonna get? And you know, that, that's not the way to, to buy things, I think. You don't have to pay Waves update plan. Yeah, it's, it's the same as, as the previous one, but you know what? If you could, dear Waves, do something to make version history for each plugin accessible like separately on your website, if you could make your Wave Central notify me about new updates on each of the plugin uh, plugins I, I owe, well, I could reconsider going back to you. Quality in virtual processors are relative. Well, yeah, you know what? Everything's relative in, in the music world and the sound world. I mean, even analog processing, uh, anything that's outboard also is relative. This is just what you hear and how you like it. But you know what? I still believe that there are good algorithms and there are algorithms that are not that good. There's, there are things that are functional, up-to-date, or not really up-to-date, or absolutely outdated. And I have a feeling that Waves sometimes is the least of these. It's just outdated. I think the plugins are great. Okay, I'm not gonna discuss it because this is just my opinion that I don't think so, but I really fully acknowledge 
that it's your opinion and you may try always to convince me that it is so or I can wait, keep my eyes open to see if waves changes anything one day. So guys, yeah, these are my thoughts. These are my clarifications on my side. And now if you feel like still uh, trying to replace any of your waves plugins with something else, here comes the second part of the episode. We're gonna be more bass focused this time. Take care. If you like the channel, if you like the studio, if you like the vid, subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave a comment down below. And two more things to be added. What a stupid shot it really is. First, sometimes you say that I'm not getting deep into plugins. Well, believe me, I do. I tweak every function. I check out everything that's there. It's just the final edit that you see. And if you don't believe me, take a look. This is the final edit of the episode. It takes me sometimes hours to listen to everything and to edit it then. The second thing is, well, we're gonna get really, really low in the bass department today. So get your best headphones, grab them, turn on your really bass capable speakers, because otherwise that's gonna not make too much sense for you if you don't have bass reproduction. You have been warned. My Waves plugins, my Waves plugins. The next one I'm using a lot is Submarine. It's an enhancer for bass department. What I like about this plugin is that when I do some sound design, it really thickens up my bass and it makes this bass really shatter the walls. Submarine does its job pretty well also, I have to tell you, and for testing it, we're gonna maybe set up a new project with a couple of explosions. Four, fire, explosion, something stuff from soundsnap.com. I'm the user for years and I chose some components. Okay, these are not explosions, some fire elements. Uh, that are not really too exaggerated in bass, so there's any space for improvement here. I got some bass plugins in my arsenal, but I have to remember that I don't need and I, I should not use any bass exciter, so I will not create harmonic content uh, upper like I'm not gonna add harmonics, but I ha I need some kind of a sub synthesis that's gonna synthesize the sound below what I have originally. That's the goal, and that's what Submarine does. All the candidates, possible replacements for my submarine are here with me installed. And the first one would be Base XL by Denise. Continue trial. Sleek, nice uh, interface, that's for sure. It's nice, it's deep. Uh, Submarine is subtle. It gives this snap, this bassy juice like. Can you hear that in your headphones? It's very subtle, but it's very nice and very elegant. It's, it works great in cinema mixes, in, in sound designs, also in some elements of music, of course. And the next one is called Root One. Looks like this, made by Leapwing. Take my samples, drag them here, play with them. Well, surely it's an interesting one, but no, it's not gonna become my favorite one. That's for sure. The next one is actually the one I'm looking forward to because I've heard a lot of good things about Matrix Halo Thump and it's gonna stay with me anyway because it's a free one guys. No key, nothing, it's 
just here. <laughs> Let's go! Yes, I'm able to get the same mm, low punch in the bass from this one that I get from Submarine, and yeah, I really like it. And the way it hits here, it's even better than with Submarine. Of course, more tweaking is needed, but this one is definitely great. And it stays with me, and it's a possible... A replacement for my submarine, that's for sure, and it comes for free. Max Punch from Voxengo, uh, the contender from the previous category and the winner. So I'm looking forward to it. What's up? <laughs> Okay, it's much more snappy, like with very, very short attacks, then it works best. Mm, it's a cool one, but that's not what I'm looking for. That's not a wave's replacement for now. Next one, and the last one in this category, is Low Ender. <laughs> A cool one, I think, after dialing in some settings, but I can tell you for sure that uh, what's gonna stay with me, and yeah, this is probably the replacement for Submarine, a new one, is Thumb by Matrix Halo. The only thing I don't like about it is uh, the user interface. It's very old school, digital vintage, not very pleasant for eyes, but I don't mind that for now. This is my new base plugin for sound design. Welcome. Hi, this is me. It's another day in the studio. Well, I had to take a break and stuff, and now I'm ready to get into the last Waves plugin I'm really using on everyday basis, and this is F6 EQ. I'm using it because it's functional, it's kind of sleek as for waves, and it's got great side chaining functions that I really, really like, and I'm just used to using it, I would say, but I believe it's fully, fully replaceable. For the purposes of this test, I made a simple bass and drums loop. These are the drums. Mm -hmm. And this is the bass. And I made this bass quite continuous, like for a purpose, so that some side-chaining dynamic EQ uh, is really, really needed here. So this it is how it goes together. Yeah, the point is that it's not too clean. I, I'm, I'm not trying to make you a crash course on side chaining and dynamic EQing, but actually we need some dynamic EQing here using side chain function because we're gonna feed the bass with the kick, of course. So the bass in some frequency is gonna get lower, and this is how it looks like with waves. the image, the, the low end is not that muddy, it's a little bit more clean, more precise, it reads out well simply. But now we're gonna copy this group actually 
and we're gonna try to find something else in the base department. I have to tell you that setting up F6 is easier than setting up Pro Q3. And of course, Pro Q3 had to be my main, like, obvious choice for side chaining EQ. But yeah, there is a reason why I'm not using Pro Q3 for side chaining and dynamic EQing this way, because not too many settings, and it's not too easy to tweak it the right way. I think that the sound I get from F6 is easier to dial in and it's more precise. So I'm sorry Pro Q3, I mean I love you, but it's not the same as with F6. Let's get into something else and well, I would love to use this one and I do have this one, but as a universal audio plugin which means it does not support side chaining. I'm sorry, and I'm not gonna buy it again here. So no, it's a no-go for me this time. Well, yeah, there is track spacer, but it does something else. This is like not the same tool. I mean, I do have track spacer and I love using it, but let's continue. And yes, that's gonna be my next choice. And it's also kind of an obvious one. And I do actually have this plugin here. Boom! And I'm not using Nova too much, I have to tell you, though it is really absolutely terrific tool. It's top of the top, I would say, for, for the sound and functionality, and that's the time I give it a go, I think. Pięć w 30 był wlewany, bo y, u mnie było podejrzenie, że jest zepsuty czujnik. I do feel like an idiot. I have to tell you, probably I am an idiot. Because I knew I have TDR Nova GE Bolt. And I'm not using it. I mean, it's an amazing tool. It's sleek, it's elegant, it's very precise when setting things up. It's got very good spectral visual feedback as well, much better than F6. So yeah, that was an easy shot. I was probably too lazy or not intellectually capable of thinking about it. And yes, my F6 has just been replaced for good. And guys, I've got some more Waves plugins I'm still using for sound design, for example. I have their list here, like Enigma, uh, Doubler, or Mando Mod, or Ultra Pitch. I'm still gonna try to replace them. I'm gonna look for their counterparts. Uh, and well, but that's not gonna happen today. I think that's enough. I did my first most crucial steps, so let's sum the things up. Summing things up seems easy for me again, because yes, I was not happy with the pricing and updating policy by Waves. Uh, I was not happy with some of Waves algorithms that did not get any updates. I was not happy with the user interfaces that were too clunky, too old sometimes. I was still happy with some algorithms and some plugins that I had been using, as you could see, but it appeared that 
possible, totally possible, to replace them. And it's not like a big research to do. And some of the tools are already there. I just did not reach out to just grab them and start using them. So this process is gonna be continued, I think. And Waves, hey, don't be mad at me, but I think you're, what you do is really not fair to me as a user and I'm not into it. Other producers, other vendors, give me the quality, also the feel, the look that you sometimes lack. Thank you for the years spent together. And let's move on. Take care, see you soon.